Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server admin tutorial or bucket spigot tutorial. If you're joining for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button because I do these every week. If you have a suggestion of one you'd like me to do, feel free to, feel free to comment that in the jibbles below because I will give you a shout out when I get to it. This week is not suggested by anybody per se, so no shout outs necessary, but it's just been requested by a number of questions in regards to easy rank lights because extended clip who's a fantastic you know what i'm gonna get rid of these it's a little distracting new shades really liked them want to show them off but uh i can't see the everything anyway extended clip fantastic plugin author one of my favorites he has got a lot of great useful plugins great documentation a lot of great support so i love making videos for him he overhauled Easy Rank Light, made it Easy Rank Light 2 to uh, make it more efficient, a lot easier to follow, and a lot easier to modify, and I agree with that. Now, the biggest change, two big changes. One is how it detects your groups, which will go over some of those errors that you'll get with that. And then the second one is he removed the scoreboard, uh, which he'll bring back eventually with a bigger, new, improved, better, more efficient version. You can use Featherboard in the meantime, but it is a premium plugin and it's pretty complicated to use. I've started using it, um, but it's really slick. So, anyway, let's get into it. The, the two main issues that you might run into, and they're both related to the new group based detection before previously it detected a user's group based upon their primary group so you had to set up your pecs correctly with the correct group weights in order for it to work but now it's just permission node which i think i think is a little bit more efficient but um i'm not 100 percent sure because i don't code but anyway the two main issues one is if you get a, a note that says you're already in the last rank it's because you're op or you have the permission node star because that means you have all the permissions and the plugin goes hey you're already in the last rank so uh the second option or the second thing that you run into is you're not in the correct rank or you're not in a rank that can rank up it's because you have not added the permission node to your groups uh in order to rank up so you can change it back in the config file back to the group based uh detection rather than the permission based but for this tutorial we're going to go over the permission base you can look at my previous tutorial on how to set up your group weights correctly or my pex tutorial on how to set the group weights so what we're going to do now is we're going to talk about upgrading from the previous version of easy rank lights what you need to do for that update or upgrade then we're going to go over the permission nodes then we're going to talk about how you set up your groups or add ranks and then we're going to talk about the config files and that's pretty much it we're going to talk a little bit about chat prefixes which is this plugin offers an ability to do two prefixes some of you i know i got your attention on that so anyway let's get into it converting from 1.0 to 2.0 this is how you do the quick migrating from one to two is basically you want to make a copy of your easy rank lights folder in your plugin directory then you want to stop your server and we're going to stop that and then you want to delete this this folder and then you want to restart your server so we're going to start it again plugins so we're going to let that start back up All right, so once that started back up, it's regenerated all of those folders and files that we need. So we're going to stop it again. We're going to go into our old one, and we're going to make a copy of this. We want to keep it in there, and then we want to rename it Old Rank Ups. And then we want to cut it and paste it in the new folder. So that's going to be right there. And then we want to restart this server. So it's firing back up. We're going to go back in here. And then what that's going to do is it's going to automatically convert that old underscore rankups.yml file to the new format. And then once it's done, it's removed it, as you can see right there. And it actually goes through, and I think it tells you that it's converting. Yep, it's converting it. So now you can fire that up, open it up, and it looks like it already converted that all over. Now keep in mind, it's not going to be as clean as the new version. Um, but the effect fireworks is going to be in there. The message is going to be in there, all that stuff um you know you could switch this out to be the add uh the add groups command rather than this console command and uh, it's a lot cleaner so that's the only thing that's going to change is if you want to use any of the new th new settings and all that stuff you're going to have to come in here and change it but it's a lot cleaner and all that it'll help you just get started with the new version so let's hop back over and uh, continue on 
Okay, so welcome back. Now we're getting into the actual setup of this new plugin. So the first thing you need to do is go through all of your groups and you need to add, you need to give them the permission node, easy ranks dot rank, and then the rank name. Keep in mind, it is case sensitive. So if you're using uppercase permission group ranks or group ranks, be sure that the permission node is uppercase. And you got to do that for A, B, C, D, all of them. So that's a little bit of prep on the beginning. You also need to create those groups. So if you're getting a an error when you're adding these rank ups and it says no groups detected, it's because you've not set up your groups. All this plugin does is handle transition between the groups. And then you need to add easy ranks dot last rank to the last rank so the plugin knows where the last rank is. You also have to modify that in the config file which we'll show you guys in a moment. So first thing you need to do is create the, the rank. So we're going to do easy admin create rank up B to C and then we're going to do 1000. A to B is 1000 so we're going to do 2000. B to C. There we go. It even tells you the permission node that group B needs, and then uh, a couple, and then you can do easy admin list. We can see all of those rank ups. You can do easy admin info B, and it's going to show you all the information based upon that. And then <clears throat> that's it. So now what you can do if you have the correct person permission node, which is easy ranks dot rank up. You can rank up, or if you want to see all the ranks, you can do slash ranks, and the permission node for that is easy ranks dot list ranks. And then if you want your mods to be able to modify those ranks, you need to give them easy ranks dot admin to be able to create those. So we're going to do rank up, and then we have to confirm. And there we go. I've ranked up, so I can do test. And then there's B, and that is left over from something, and I will talk about that in a moment. So that's it. That's how you create your rank ups. Let's hop over to config files and go over that. All right, so here we are. We're on our server, so we're going to go hop into the plugins, and then we're going to do easy ranks light. <clears throat> now remember, that is from when we did the conversion. And then the first thing we're going to do is hop into the config file. So some of these are pretty self-explanatory. The main one is this check primary group for available rank up. You can switch back to the old way of detecting your group ranks in there. You can do chat prefix enable. That's set that to true. That is how you can set up uh, where easy rank lights takes care of the prefix rather than your permissions plugin. So this allows you to do two prefixes, which is really cool. So basically, once you set that to true, what you want to do is go into your essentials and give the skir the squirrely bracket. It'll be on the screen here. Uh, easy rank lights underscore rank prefix. So now you can have two prefixes. Keep in mind the color. There's an issue with the color coding. That'll be resolved next week most likely by uh by the author he's out for the weekend but he'll resolve that you can just set them to the default colors for now and let it go and then you could set your prefixes in e uh, permissions in the in packs <clears throat> so you can disable that confirm rank up maybe you don't want that to be in there you can disable true you can have a cooldown so they can only rank up so fast and then uh the slash ranks command you can disable that now you can also change the format of a lot of stuff of how those those uh, ranks show up you can change the format of your money you can change the format of the progress bar in here which is super cool now one thing that I think is fantastic that any author keeps in is this messages this allows you to really customize the server to be or the plugin to work with your server and make it have a nice little feel to it now, the next one is we're going to talk about multipliers and discounts. Now, there's a lot of text on here, so I'm not really going to go over a whole lot. It's very well documented, but you have two things you can do. You can set up multiple rank up, rank up cost discounts. So it, it, people with this permission nodes, you can set it to be whatever you want, will have a lower rank up cost based upon a percentage. So if you put 5% in there, that means that it's going to discount that rank 5%. So if the rank is 100 bucks, it's only going to cost them 95 to rank up. And that goes all the way up to 100%. Now, the uh, multipliers is if you want to make it harder for people to rank up. So it costs more. It's the opposite direction for the percentage. It will make it costs more for them to rank up and it's the same thing permission node all that jazz so the main plugin that or main file that we want to look at is the rankups.yml 
Now you can change the, uh, this is where you set the last rank, and then that's where you set the prefix of that rank. So like I said, the color codes aren't going to be working right now, but they'll be working very shortly. Um, and then this is where the rank ups will show up. Now they'll automatically fill in, which is really nice. And it's really a lot straightforward, more straightforward than the old version, which is really sweet. So this add a group and then the rank up, if you're using group manager, it, it'll likely be a good idea to add the world in here. And that would be the world name that has your parent permissions groups. Um, if you don't have it in there and then they're ranking up not in that world, you might have some issues. You might have some internal error messages coming up. So make sure you got that. Some of the new uh, actions that are in here, you can put an action bar broadcast or message an action bar broadcast. You can do some JavaScript uh, calling once they rank up. You can do an effect, which is really sweet. Um, so this is pretty straightforward you can do a console command from them or a player command so if you want them to be able to do a rank up maybe you got to do or a warp so you you would have to put in another entry in here do that and then put a single quote put the player command and then uh, warp to B if you want them to automatically warp to be on the rank up so that's how you add more commands to that and that is pretty much it Let's hop back in and wrap it all up here. So that's about it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that tutorial and it was super helpful. I love the fact that you can do two prefixes now. I get asked that all the time. So now you guys know how you can do it. The color coding will be fixed very shortly. And then you can guys, you can have a rank, you know, a prefix for your staff in, you know, right after their uh, prison rank. And then it'll be good to go. This is Kaz from McFriends reminding you guys all, Enjoy the game. God bless.